Have you ever been in the middle of milling your grains up for a brew day and then stop? Your mill gets stuck. Now what? Well, you have a couple of different options. Most of the time, this happens because one of the free rollers, meaning one of the rollers that's not driven by the motor, gets stuck from some of the leftover malt, powder, and residue from milling up grains in the past. And that can really slow down that wheel, and it doesn't have enough free movement in order to get pulled in with the grains as the other wheel that's being turned by the motor is moving. There's a couple of ways immediately that you can try and get that restarted without having to dump all of your grains out of your grain mill. The first thing I like to do is move it to a different bucket because when you start moving those wheels around, you're going to have some hole kernels that fall out. So you, if you're using a drill like I do, you can actually turn that into reverse, hit it real quick and let the grains come out from the middle of the grain mill, but they'll actually go around the outside unmilled and go, fall into the bucket. And that's okay because they're not falling into the rest of the milled grains, which we want to leave without any unmilled grains in there. Should you get some unmilled grains in your regular grains, you can kind of re-mill those grains again if you're careful, just to make sure that you're getting the ones off the top. You don't want a lot of unmilled grains or you have a hard time hitting your gravity readings during your brew day. Sometimes just putting it in the reverse over a different bucket will fix it. Then start going in forward again and seeing if that will uh, start that other roller going. 90% of the time that works in a pinch. But say you keep going and it gets stuck again. Well, another option you have is putting it back over that same bucket, lifting up slightly and moving that other wheel. That's the free wheel. Again, unhook your drill so you don't accidentally mill up your fingers because that wouldn't be good. So maybe just moving that and getting that unstuck would work. Then try going it forward again, seeing if that clears it out, and then you can continue. But if you keep going and all else fails and it really isn't doing anything, you have no choice but to take the grains out of this, either clean your mill or in a pinch, you can use a small amount of vegetable oil on those rollers to get them moving cleanly again. What I did is I took a small amount of vegetable oil in a little medicine syringe, I turned that upside down, and I put a little bit on each of the rollers. Then I moved those rollers back and forth in both directions to try to work that oil in between the sides and get that thing rolling freely again. You don't want all that oil stuck on those rollers though, so you wanna make sure you use some paper towels and soak up as much as you can so you're not getting that oil into your beer and on your grains. During my last brew day, that was enough. That actually fixed the problem and I was able to keep going and finish out the rest of my malt. However, that didn't solve it long-term. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this thing apart. I'm gonna show you how to clean it, how to lube it up, and how to get it ready for your next brew day again. All right, some tools I would recommend to get started is a screwdriver to start taking this thing apart. You may need some wrenches, depending on how yours is put together, a pliers, that will help you loosen up some of the rollers and other things if they're really, really tight. And then as we get things all the way cleaned out, you're gonna need some brushes. Uh, that will help get the rollers cleaned, all the edges that you can't get to. So I have a wire one here, and then I have a softer bristle brush that I'll probably use a little bit of both. I'd also recommend having some feeler gauges, and these can be purchased at a hardware store of any kind. Some people use them uh, for mechanics, so you can get them at an auto supply store as well. Uh, but in a pinch, you can also use a credit card. And so the thickness between the rollers matters, and the way you have it set, you may really like. So you might wanna use your feeler gauges or even a credit card first, see how far apart your grain rollers are spaced now. So I'm gonna make sure I try and reset that back to that amount when I put this back together. My feeler gauges, as you notice, they only go to 0 0.035. And so instead, I use a couple of the feeler gauges in the middle, doubled up, to equal that same amount. But make sure they're touching each other so you can squeeze them together flat and then test your gauges that way. And last but not least, you're gonna need a beer because it might get frustrating and, well, you might need a break. So let's go ahead and get this thing tore apart. For my barley crusher, I have a base included, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that base off with 11 millimeter ratchet. As you get this off, you can already see how nasty and caked on things are up underneath here. So this is where you're gonna start using your brush right away. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this hopper and we're gonna get that cleaned out from this direction. 
I have a nut that's on the inside of this and I'm gonna use a screwdriver on the outside. For the barley crusher, you don't need to take the nuts all the way off. This will just slide up once they're loosened out. Again, take that off and let's clean up the grime. Then last but not least, we're gonna take off these side plates to get at the side of the rollers. When you get to this point with the sides off, you're actually able to just pull these completely off. So you can go ahead and clean those better and make sure you get all of that junk that's slowing those rollers down out. And then once you're done cleaning up the sides, make sure you get the rollers themselves. All those little grooves will hold stuff and keep the rollers from gripping the grain. And don't forget the board itself. You're gonna have some stuff caked down there too. To get the inside of the rollers edges here, you can use a cotton swab or a Q-tip or anything that really has a pointed edge and a napkin. So I'm gonna use this chopstick and stuff it in there and clean it out. You can also use a flathead screwdriver to really kind of carefully scrape away any of that junk that might be caked on that won't come off with your brush. Gee, I wonder why my grain mill was sticking. Gross. Then I go ahead and I wipe everything down with a damp cloth. At the beginning of the video, I talked about using a little bit of vegetable oil and squirting it in here to get these to loosen up so they can turn. But you don't want to do that as you're putting it together because any type of wet lubricant can actually collect some of that dust and actually get stickier over time. So instead, these actually have self-lubricating brass nuts on the inside of each of these roller housings. I wouldn't put any type of lube on this once it is fully cleaned out. Same goes with this roller that doesn't have them on the outside. They have those same self-lubricating brass nuts on the inside of the roller. So let's get this thing put back together the same way we took it apart. Now that the majority of it is put together, this is where we can actually go ahead and test our feeler gauges and make any adjustments as we need to. Then we can go ahead and put it on the base and get the hopper basket on the top. It's just easier to work with it without the hopper basket on the top. But as you can tell, these things are just spinning smoothly now, now that there's no more gunk in there. I actually did notice that this side is just a smidge easier than this side here where it's kind of sticking as it goes in here. So this feeler gauge is sticking where on this side it is not sticking, it's loose. So I want these to be the same so I get the same crush on both sides. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and tighten this one down slightly. By doing so, it should also loosen this one up a little bit as it kind of twists in there. So we're gonna see if that, we can get that figured out. There you go, so, so I can move it in and out without moving the rollers, even though they're pretty soft, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and get this on the base and get the hopper back on. And again, you don't wanna crank this down, you just wanna get this snug, because it is wood. And voila, we have a brand new spanking grain mill. Well, at least a cleaner one. I hope that helped you. Leave any questions or comments in the video description below. Uh, hopefully this helps fix your problem if you had it or just helps you clean it or makes you realize you probably do need to clean yours. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel tremendously. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Happy brewing and cheers. Hey. Thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. A way you can support the channel is just by buying me a beer. There's a button right there on the screen and there's a link in the video description below. You can also check out the Merchandise Center store and you can hit the video on the screen right now. You know you want to.